Hello and welcome. My name is Dominika and this is the beginning of the racetrack robotics lesson prepared by Robocamp. Throughout the lesson I'll be using step-by-step -step instructions which you will see here. Remember that you can use them too, by yourself or with your students, if you have an active Robocamp plan. With Robocamp, you get access to over 240 robotics lesson plans for various LEGO education sets. That includes standalone lesson plans as well as full year programming curricula. To get a quote for your school and a discount for annual plans, click the link in the description. Now, to complete the entire lesson with me, you need to watch and follow four videos, starting with this one. You also need one Spike Essential set from LEGO Education to build the racetrack robot and the Spike programming app to program it. But for now, I want you to just listen. Learn with me a bit more about racing. How it irrevocably changed in the 18th century, where the first car race took place and how many different types of racing exist today. Let's begin. Racing and fascination with speed is not a new thing in human history. Participating in races as well as watching these competitions has always been thrilling. The most famous races in ancient human history were happening during the ancient Olympic Games, held every four years in Greece, at the sanctuary of Zeus in Olympia. The first records date back to the year 776 BC, so almost 2800 years ago. Now, if you were living back then, you could participate in runs, horse races, or even chariot races, provided you were one of the best. Since then, the principle behind racing hasn't changed, but the distances and means have. Whenever a new invention comes along that allows people to move faster, there's a high chance that people will use it to race. The same thing happened with the automobile. The first successful attempts to make people move faster without the help of animals happened in the, in the 18th century. The experiments involved steam, gas and electric propulsion. The earliest automobile race that was recorded took place in 1867. It was a thrilling show, no doubt, but first and foremost, it was organized as a reliability trial. That is to prove that this new machine really was a reliable means of transport. But it wasn't so easy. The steam, gas and electric drives in automobiles had many issues, so they didn't become very popular. The revolution came in 1885 with the internal combustion engine invented by two independently working engineers, Daimler and Benz. From this point on, the automotive industry itself has accelerated. Car manufacturers competed with each other to produce better and better vehicles. As a result, cars became more efficient, more reliable and more comfortable. And as you can guess, racing became the easiest and most spectacular way to determine which car is the best. The first car race, or rather the horseless carriages contest, took place in Paris in 1894. 69 machines competed, including the ones with steam vehicles. Who won? Jules Albert, Count de Dion, whose average speed was 19 kilometers per hour, which is more or less 12 miles per hour. Modern racing cars are much, much different. They even look completely different. Manufacturers can either use large and heavy engines in order to get more power, or 
they can opt for smaller engines, taking advantage of the fact that it's easier for a light car to accelerate. No matter which solution you prefer, the most important thing for a racing car is to stay on the track and not lose control, which is very hard to do at high speeds. To help the driver stay safer, sports cars rely on aerodynamic body structure and spoilers. This makes use of the blowing air, which presses the car against the road. Flat and wide tires are also helpful because they help maintain traction. Now, different solutions are used in different racing cars, and that's because nowadays exist very different types of races that they can compete in. There is Formula One, off-road racing, short distance rallies, historic car racing, and so, so much more. One of the most prestigious car races is the 24 Hours of Le Mans, where drivers must complete as many laps as possible in 24 hours. You might have also heard of another famous race, the Monte Carlo Rally. Organized every year since 1911, this rally requires a lot of skill from the drivers. They compete on the streets of Monte Carlo and Monaco, which can be tricky due to mountainous terrain and different kinds of road surfaces. Speaking of tricky, uh, the Dakar Rally is a completely different challenge for the driver, but also for the vehicle. You must overcome several thousand kilometers of wild desert, which means that besides trying to win, you must also be extra careful on the way whenever you're crossing uh, dunes, mud, rocks, and other natural obstacles. As you can imagine, serious accidents are easy to come by. And next, we're going to create a miniature racing track of our own. Join me in the next video, where I'll use RoboCamp instructions to show you how to build a racetrack robot step by step by using the Spike Essential set from LEGO Education. See you there!